हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू मेजरमेंट ऑफ लेंथ एंड इट्स कन्वर्जन सो लेट्स सी प्लेस वैल्यू चार्ट फॉर यूनिट्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ लेंथ हियर द ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू इज किलोमीटर नेक्स्ट इज हेक्टोमीटर द नेक्स्ट स्मॉलर इज डेकामीटर स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट मीटर देन smaller to meter is decimeter and smaller to decimeter is centimeter and millimeter i had told that you have to keep in your mind these prefixes kilo hecto deca then standard unit or length is meter deci centi and milli so you have to use only the standard unit everywhere before after the prefixes and you have only seven units here you will see kilometer hectometer decameter meter decimeter centimeter and millimeter each lower one is decreased by 10 times from the higher one like kilometer is 10 times greater than hectometer or you can say hectometer is 10 times lesser than kilometer if we are converting from kilo to deca it is two jump two places it is moving so you can say that kilometer is 100 times greater than decameter or you can say that decameter is 100 times less than kilometer so the standard unit of length whenever it will be asked you will say that meter is the standard unit of length and between two units there is a jump of 10 what does it mean that whenever we are converting whenever we are converting from greater to smaller if we are moving See, we are moving. This arrow shows that we are moving from greater to smaller. We are moving. We are multiplying the unit by ten. Suppose from one kilometer to one hectometer, I have to move. I will multiply it by ten. Suppose somebody is asking two kilometer is equal to how many hectometer? I will say two kilometer is equal to two into ten is equal to twenty hectometer. Similarly. from kilometer to decameter if i have to move from greater to smaller i will say that it is 100 times the kilometer means 1 kilometer is equal to 100 decameter 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter 1 kilometer is equal to 10000 decimeter like this we are telling 1 decameter is equal to 10 meter 1 hectometer is equal to One, two, three jumps. So hundred. Uh, sorry, thousand decimeter. Like this, we will see. Next, from smaller unit to greater unit. From smaller to greater, if we have to convert, we will divide. For each jump, we will divide by ten. From millimeter to centimeter, if we are converting, we will divide by ten. One millimeter is equal to one by ten centimeter. 1 mm is equal to 1 by 100 dm 1 mm is equal to 1 by 1000 m like this kilometer is the largest unit and mm is the smallest unit in conversion you have to keep in your mind that from greater unit to lower unit if you are moving or if you are converting you have to multiply means from greater to smaller if you are moving or converting you have to multiply and from greater to smaller no from smaller to greater from smaller to greater if you are moving from here to here if i am moving you have to divide so in the conversion of 74 meter into centimeter again we have to keep this in your mind that from greater to smaller we are moving so we have to move uh, multiply by 10 each time if two jumps are there we have to multiply by 100 if three jumps are there we have to multiply by 1000 like that and from smaller to greater if we are coming back so we have to divide each times by 10 if two jumps by 100 if three jumps by 1000 like that so in this case meter to centimeter meter to centimeter we have to move in that case we are going from greater to smaller two jumps means we will multiply by 100 greater to smaller two jumps means 1 meter will be equal to 100 cm we will write therefore 74 meter will be 
74 into 100 centimeter that is equal to 7400 centimeter. So 74 meter will be equal to 7400 centimeter. Next question. 24 decimeter into decameter. Again, remember this key words. Greater to smaller multiply. Smaller to greater. Arrows showing which direction we are moving. Smaller to greater divide. So, decimeter. This is decimeter. And from decimeter we are coming to decameter. Smaller to greater we are coming. There is this, that is the smallest unit and this is the greatest unit. So we are coming in this way. So we will write 1 decimeter is equal to, we are coming two places, deci, then meter, then deca. So we will divide 1 by 100 deca meter. And one more thing which I had told in my previous video, whenever you are writing deca, the greatest unit, you have to use da and for deci you have to use only d. This is smaller unit and beta is greater unit of length. So 24 decimeter will be 24 by 100 deca meter. Now convert into decimal 0 0.24 deca meter. Next question 4 kilometer into hectometer. Kilo to hecto only one jump and from greater to smaller. Whenever greater to smaller, we will multiply and multiply by 10 because only one jump. If from kilo to deca we have to come, we will multiply by 100. So, 1 kilometer, first standard conversion, we will keep in our mind because this also I have explained in my unitary method video. If we know 1, any value for 1, we will be able to convert or find the value of many. So, 1 kilometer is equal to? 10 hectometer. How? Because one jump from greater to smaller. One jump from greater to smaller. So 1 kilometer is equal to 1 by 10, uh, sorry 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometer. Therefore 4 kilometer will be 4 into 10 hectometer. So it is 40 hectometer. Next 43 millimeter into decimeter. 43 millimeter. Millimeter is here and from millimeter you have to go decimeter here. From smaller to greater. From smaller to greater if you are moving, see the arrow, the direction of movement, you have to divide. So divide by how much? 1 jump, 2 jump means divided by 100. 1 zero means 10 and 2 jump means divided by 100. So, 1 millimeter for standard unit, standard conversion, you remember 1 millimeter is equal to 1 by 100 decimeter. Therefore, 43 millimeter is equal to 43 by 100 decimeter is equal to 0 0.43 decimeter. This decimal conversion you have seen, you have learned in the previous video of decimal. So, this way we convert. Thank you.